Rest properly. And don't fucking go wandering around again before I come back. Doyle. You can rest a bit more, Chief. Hakate already updated the Bureau about the situation. At the same time as you were attacked, Hakate arrived on the scene and saved you. She had a brief confrontation with the suspicious woman who attacked you, and confirmed that she was the fourth sinner at the scene of the crisis. The sinner's abilities are unknown. That fourth sinner took her away. The arrest team went to work right away, but not long ago. S666's power anomalies suddenly stopped. The contamination from her sleepwalking symptoms disappeared at the same time, and we lost track of her. In the worst case scenario, your attacker forcibly ended S666's sleepwalking state by killing her to shake off our pursuit. All this time, Sleepwalker's M values remained within the safe range, so the FAC did not officially classify this mutation as a form of mania. But if Ambrosia can alter human consciousness so deeply and with such precision that it can even change the reality, then it can already be classified as a new strain of mania, a strain that is even stealthier. I'll immediately notify the FAC for a harm and mitigation analysis, the city council keeps a tight grip over Eastside, but with enough bargaining chips, the FAC can also gain greater authority to act. Ambrosia has already caused serious damage to your mind. Please, consider your own safety first. Um, the inspector is investigating the source of Ambrosia. Hella went with him. Before he went out, he taught me how to make this hangover drink. It's his wife's secret recipe. It'll make you feel better. You'll be able to focus on the investigation after drinking it, and regaining your energy. He says the door is locked, and that forcibly breaking it would cause a lot of trouble. He wants you to patiently wait for him to return. If you're bored, there are lots of incident reports here. He says you can read whatever you like. You okay, old man? You lost the argument with me, and now your legs are failing too? You agree that the loser has to call the winner daddy? Come on. Call. Me. Daddy. Ah, you... I'm your daddy! <laughs> you? <laughs> you woke up, you little ass. Why not sleep till next year? Bug off and get some exercise. The weekend drag me down. He's really worried about you. Oh, you, yeah, don't make a fuss. I'm perfectly fine. That bastard Gandalf just wanted to make you look funny. This is what you got spiked with yesterday, right? Found it from the place. Uh, what is it called?
called it. A uh, candy bar. This is Ambrosia. Remember, don't let anyone... Hey, 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 hey! Have you lost your f***ing mind? This thing will knock you out with one gulp. Who come wipe your and start sleepwalking again? Huh? But I know where to find the Ambrosia supplier. Oh? How did you know that? Meh. Just odds and ends here and there. Her name is Mess, and she's a self-proclaimed weaponsmith who makes and sells blades. She came to District 14 to sell Ambrosia just two weeks ago. She may not necessarily be the only supplier, but she has basically monopolized the market for affordable ambrosia. Mess keeps moving her base around, but I pinpointed her current location. Pack up and get ready to go. Let's not let her run away. Pretty girl. Who's that guy next to her? He looks familiar. He's no hottie, but he looks pretty smart and energetic. Yeah, completely different from some grumpy old men we know. Why do you think that is, Doyle? Hey, I let you review the files to get to know the case. I didn't permit you to touch anything else. Mind your hands. Go. <laughs> I'll tell you everything. I'll take you to mess. Please don't hit me. Is this the waiter from that suspicious bar? Yeah, vital clue. Watch and learn. Huh. <laughs> Remember, you have to take some liberties in an investigation. Oh, that reminds me. What happened last night was similar to an old case I took on a few years ago. It has been deleted from the Public Security Bureau archive. Hey, I only remember a code name. Marv. This case was one of a series. The victim was addicted to a certain drink. He claimed it gave him happy dreams and helped him escape from suffering. He became more and more dependent on it. Sound familiar? The man later got sapped dry by the happy dreams. He had a mental breakdown while sleeping and turned into a terrifying monster. He was handed over to the FAC and became a topic I'm not supposed to ask about. It's been a few years since the incident. There's no proof that it has anything to do with this current incident, but my intuition tells me that sleepwalking is by no means harmless. Uh, what I'm, uh, what I'm trying to say is, a newbie like you must be extra careful handling a case like this.
Hey, newbie. I'm the inspector. It's my job to investigate. Don't think too much. What about her? Get in the car. Back when I was the incredible inspector, I solved more cases in one month than the rest of the Bureau for the whole year. I personally caught dozens of vicious scumbags and brought them to court. But what I truly got out of it is not some bullshit medal or any sense of pride or justice. I got to see through the vile bastards behind each case. I got to see how rotten to the core their souls were behind their human facade. By comparison, your girls are model citizens. The worst they do is brag, slack off from studying, and run their mouths at me. <laughs> if I had kids, they'd probably be this rebellious too. If something goes wrong in West District, you can blame it on mania. But there is no mania in Eastside. All the crimes I dealt with were committed by normal people. The only things rotten were their souls. <laughs> See, this is why you're a newbie. You don't know shit about people. What kind of person is Doyle? Uh. A vain, uh, emotionally out of control, tongue-tied, short-tempered f who everyone hates. Gandalf is right. Being around scoundrels for too long made me a scoundrel myself. No one respects me. Nor do I deserve any respect. <laughs> yeah, well, I had someone like that. She was always by my side and gave me unconditional support. But uh, I ruined everything with my own hands. I yelled at her and neglected her. All I did when I got home was lose my temper. I broke the vows I gave at my wedding and made her life terrible. Even on the day she left. I couldn't muster up a decent apology. <sighs> no need. She was... She was right to leave. It's all for the best. Both for her and me. People can't always make excuses for themselves. I screwed up. So, I have to own up to it. I have to keep doing the only thing I'm good at, being a good inspector. Whenever I find a scumbag, I'll fight them to the end. Are you proud of that monologue? Ugh, who's the one moaning on and on about his wife every time he drinks? So embarrassing. Aren't you too old to act like some lovesick teenager? I'm gonna retch. <clears throat> Kids should shut up when the adults are talking. Wait, wait, hold on, I got a message. Uh, she... She was attacked by a sleepwalker. She just got into the ICU. I, I, I can't get a hold of her. She... Uh. 
Uh, you guys go first. Call me if anything happens. I promise I'll be back. Call me anytime. Are you happy with our arrangement, Chief? Of course not. We asked a hospital to cooperate with us, then temporarily jammed the inspector's wife's communications. Everything's played out like a soap opera. Fortunately, Inspector Doyle got so worried that he didn't notice any flaws. He won't be able to return in a short time. <laughs> of course. We are always interested in intelligence about Quinn. It's a pleasure working with you. Hope we are both successful in our endeavors. What? What are you gonna do? I already brought you where you wanted to go, and I told you the place already. I'm just an ordinary guy. I have my life too, just like Doyle. I don't want to get involved with sinners. You should let me go too. Huh? <laughs> Are you the devil? <laughs> <laughs>